Hello everyone and welcome to part 33 of my Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough. We are about to step in that door and face the Elite Four. <laughs> that rhymed. Uh, anyway, my team has gotten so much better by the way. I've done some intense grinding. Let's have a look. So if we look at my team, they're all about level 50 now, but the big addition I've done is I've added a Rhydon in. Uh, I, I, Tyranitar is really hard to get at this stage in the game because you, there's only two ways of getting a Lavatar, which is his uh, first form. You have to either get it from the Savari Zone in the morning, which is like a very small chance, or you have to get it from Mount Silver, which you can't access until you beat the Elite Four, I think. So I've decided to stick with Rhydon because it's much simpler for me. And he's a good Pokemon anyway. I shouldn't I shouldn't have too much trouble with a Rhydon, really. So um, going into this, I'm a little scared, but I'll do my best. And we are going to just try and beat these guys. So here we go. The first one, I think she uh, it looks kind of like a Psychic Trainer, maybe a Dark Trainer, one of the two. But let's face her and see what happens. Welcome to the Pokemon League, allow me to introduce myself, I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic type Pokemon powerful, yeah it's Psychic. And at last I've been accepted into the Elite Four, I can only keep getting better, losing is not an option. Don't ask me why I have an Espeon out when I was so blatantly obvious this guy was Psychic. Epic, massive fail for me. But let's do our best at level 40. Oh man, I've in, indeed I have overgrinded my team. I'm not too sure if Ghost will do anything. I'll, you know, I don't even want to risk it. So I'll just crack out a Flash and then I'm going to swap this Espeon out just, just for the crack. And you turn miss thanks to Flash. So we'll send out, uh, ooh, Ampharos should be fine here. A Discharge should just do some pretty decent damage since this thing is obviously part of flying. Not very happy with that Confuse Ray though, because it's just one of those moves that, in my opinion, it's the troll move of the game. And oh, look at that, I hurt myself. And he's oh, cracking out the Psychic. This is not good. This is not good whatsoever. Please don't hurt yourself. Fucking Ampharos. Seriously, Ampharos, are you really, really that stupid? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see how much this does. Oh, yes, very nice. I'm going to have to crack a Hyper Potion onto you, Ampharos, after this. Going to crack out the Jinx, which I, I'm very sure is part ice. Very, very sure. So I'm just going to send out Typhlosion, and if I'm wrong, I am an idiot, and I will slap myself very hard if I am wrong. It's only level 41, though, so come on, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's have a look. Yes! Yes, I don't have to slap myself. Did it. Alright, maybe I did grind my team a little much, but, you know, when I get towards the end of the Elite Four, their Pokemon will keep getting stronger and stronger. We'll have to send Ampharos out again despite his lower HP, because Slowbro is quite irritating if you don't have an electric Pokemon. So we'll just use, uh, th oh, I, I meant to use Discharge, but Thunder wasn't a bad option either, because this thing has quite high defense. So there we go, um, that's good. I'm quite surprised Thunder has 10 PP. I always thought it had 5 PP, but I guess I was wrong And sending out Exeggutor, so Typhlosion, come back out. Had a bit of a bumpy start, I guess, but I'm definitely, you know, cracking, cracking it in there. You know, things are going my way, which I'm quite happy about, so this thing should be dead as well. Thank, thank God. And I wonder what his last Pokemon is. Will it be his ultimate, ultimate Pokemons? It's an Exatu again. And I think it might be faster than my Ampharos, which worries me. So, you know, I'll just crack out Rhydon. I'm sure I've got a rock move, and that'll be super effective. So, this this was a very easy battle. We Psychics don't give up even when we're down to the last Pokemon. That's what makes us so formidable. And yes, Stone Edge. Um, it's a good move. It has a high critical hit ratio. <sighs> as long as I don't hurt myself in my confusion, again... Oh my god, I am th I'm so unlucky sometimes. And a Psychic. I'm not too sure how high Rhydon Special Defense is. Uh, not that very high by the looks of things. And look, I am so unlucky. If you die, Rhydon, you deserved it. You just deserved it. Yeah, fuck you, Rhydon, you piece of trash. <laughs> god damn it. Um, ooh, I, I still have a selection. We'll just send Ampharos back out. And just pray that it just does something stupid. A psychic. Okay, Amphros is dead too. That's fine. I have 20 revives. I, I don't plan on losing this. You know what? Blast Burn should seal the deal. It's my ultimate attack. As long as it doesn't miss. There we go. That thing should be dead now. I don't I don't particularly like Exatu because of those confused rays. But whatever. That's that. 
And I defeated the first guy. I, I can't believe it. 5,000 poker books. I'm going to be rich after this. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now I'll move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Don't know why I did the accent right there. Alright, better heal up my team before we face the next guy. I don't want to lose already, so... um. Where's my, there's my revives, I'll save my, my max revives towards the end because I don't want to risk anything, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I know, I know there's going to be, Lance will be the last one I think, you know, dragon Pokemon, it's to be expected really, there's always a dragon guy in the Elite Four. Yeah, I was hoping to have some super potions but I'm going to have to more or less waste these, well, hyper potions. Uh, you know, they can recover up to 200 and I'm recovering 70 HP, but that's fine. Um, money is not an issue when you get 5,000 bucks off the first guy, so without further ado, let's go without war running into walls. Let's go and face the second one. And, oh, I think this guy, uh, I don't know, might be rock or some fighting or rock or something. If he's fighting or rock, I'll keep Espeon out, so let's see what he sends out. <laughs> I am Kogo, Delete 4, I live in Shadows and Ninja. Ah, oh, it's the Poison guy, of course. He's from, uh, well, he was from uh, Red, the uh, the Poison guy. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. More laughing. Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall, you shall see soon, or something. All right, Koga, this should be fun. Oh, look at that, he was like a ninja, he just, like, appeared out of nowhere. Alright, I'm sure this thing will be, like, Poison Bug or something. And the thing is, Espeon doesn't learn Psychic till, like, level 61. And I can't get Psychic until I get to Saffron City in the, is it the Johto or Kanto region? I always get the regions mixed up in my head. So I'll just have to stick to Psybeams for now. But the good news is, Espeon has a good special attack, and he's, well, he's level 49. So these things will, will get destroyed by me, I think. I hope. Ah, oh, damn you muck and your super high defense. Minimize, it increased the muck's evasiveness and oh, just so happens he has a berry too, god damn it. Let's just pray that, oh my god, I hate everything. G gunk shot, this better not poison me. Oh my god, I, I don't even know what to say. Oh no, okay, please hit Psybeam. Thank god for that, that should, yeah, that should kill it. Holy shit, Gunk Shot must be some one of those attacks that does more damage when they're on lower health or something. Fortressness or something, is that steel? Slightly sure it's steel, so we'll send up Typhlosion. If it isn't steel, I'm a failure and I should have sent out Gyarados in, in short. Okay, I'm quite sure this is steel, so I'll use Flamethrower. Ah, oh, damn you and your Protects. Oh, that's fine, PP doesn't matter that much really. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'll have too much of trouble and yes it was steel thank god okay what's the next Pokemon oh it's a Crobat and my Espeon I, I think Crobat's faster than Espeon so right on we'll use your rock moves on it and if it hits it should die fingers crossed I think maybe I did grind my team a little much I think I've already said that but oh my god I hate I hate moves like this double team and whatever else but oh thank god for that uh, actually, no, I think my team is about right, because towards the end, there'll be about 50s and something, something I think, and those levels. And Venomoth, alright, Typhlosion, where are you? There you are, bottom left, I should have known, really. Kind of got a bit confuzzled on my team lineup. But yeah, we'll beat this Venomoth, hopefully, and that'll be it. One Pokemon left, I've been counting on this one from the very beginning. Wow, that sucks to be you then, because, you know, <laughs> you've been counting on your Venomoth. You should have been counting on your Crobat or something. And that should be it. There we go. Two down, two to go, and a champion. So far, so good. Ah, you have proven your worth. Thank you. I subject subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to law test. All right, we'll go to the next room, then we'll heal up. Uh, ooh, this guy looks like a fighting slash fire guy. I'm sure he's, um, what's his name, Bruce or something. I'm sure he's fighting and rock and stuff. So uh, let me just get my hyper potions at the ready. We'll give it to Espeon because that's the only Pokemon that got hurt for some reason. Wow, this was uh, quite easy. Now, I'm not too sure if he's going to start off with a fighting or a, I think he might start off with an Onix or something. So we'll, set, we'll just get Gyarados out and he's all big and stuff. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? 
Hmm, I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Yami? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha. You know, we'll see about that. My team is much better than it was previously, and the only guy I had mega trouble is in the past is... Oh, I start off with a fighting Pokemon, goddammit. Like, the one person I had huge trouble with was that gym with the, the, the bloody... What's it, what's it called? Um... Polygraph, that's it, and okay, let's see, I've got a good lineup here, I was actually going to teach Dragon Pulse over Hyper Beam, I, I must have forgot to, well, forgotten to do it towards the end, but we'll start off with Dragon Dance, uh, we'll get my speed and my attack up, which is never a bad idea, maybe I'll crack out two Dragon Dances, make this Gyarados OP, yeah, we'll just use a couple of these, I'm going to have trouble beating my Gyarados now, Bruce, <laughs> hey, counter, I didn't even attack you, take my waterfall, you, Oh man, this, you know, Dragon Dance is so good, just so good. I was using it earlier on when I was grinding, and, um, like, it just, it can one-shot anything, more or less, if you use a couple. Onyx, thank God for that. This is going to be quite easy, really. Uh, this Gyarados can easily sweep his team. I was actually checking online about sweeping, <laughs> not actually sweeping with a brush, but, um, you know, people sending out a Pokemon and then taking out five, six Pokemon, like, in a row, like, crazy stuff like that. There's no point swapping him out, because I've done two Dragon Dances, and I'm quite sure that Waterfall will just one-shot everything because of the level difference, too, but we'll, we'll see anyway. Um, yes, a critical hit, so I'm not too sure if that would have one shot it without the critical, but whatever, Machamp, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Still, two waterfalls should do the trick here. If that's, well, if worse comes to worse, it'll be two waterfalls. Let's see. Oh my god, Gyarados, I love you so much. This guy would have been tough if I didn't use two Dragon Dances. <laughs> Fight as hard as you can until you faint. I Oh my god, maybe I should have just not grinded up my team to like level 48 and stuff. Because, you know, coming into this, I was like, hmm, my team's a bit low level, you know, like 41, 42. Maybe I should grind them, and I did, and now I just feel a bit bad about it because this has become too easy. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. The next Elite Four better be a lot tougher than this one, I'll tell you that. And I think this is, uh, oh no, no Dragon Guy. Wow, maybe Lance is in the next Elite Four or something. I, I don't even know. Maybe he's the champion. That might be it. Okay, uh, she, I'm trying to picture her. Dark or Ghost or something. If that's the case, well, I, I don't, Typhlosion is just a good matchup against anything, really. So we'll just have him out. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You're Yami. I love Dark type Pokemon. Okay. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Alright, Karen. Karen, why did I put an accent on that? Uh, that was a bit weird. Alright, let's, let's see how I can do. It's level 42. Are they all level low level 40s, I guess? Well, this sucks, really. Uh, Flamethrower should more or less beat this thing, I would hope. Oh, it didn't even do half. Wow, that sucks. And he's gone and used a double team. Not really happy about that. Now, I know a Blastburn will finish it, but Blastburn doesn't have a, the highest accuracy, especially after a double team. But I'll try it anyway. Yeah, I got a bit lucky there, but I think that thing will be dead now, because Blastman is a very strong attack. There he goes. Thank God for that. And level 53 now. What you got next, Karen? Oh, double edge. Um, let me see what I, I could delete. You know, they're all really good moves. Like, really good. You know, screw you, double edge. Uh, give up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my move pool is so much better now, uh, Murkrow. I've actually taught certain Pokemon certain moves that I found were fit for the situation. For example, uh, if we look at Ampharos, for example, Signal Beam's a bug move, Toy and Thunder, and I got a Light Scream and Discharge. It's, it's a great, great selection of moves, I think. So, quite happy with that. And my Gyarados, you know, if I... Oh, wow, critical hit, that sucks. If I teach uh, Dragon Pulse over Hyper Beam, I think that'll be a great move lineup too. And the wow, critical hit again. I'm getting quite lucky here. Despite the horrible confusions earlier on, Houndoom, uh, hopefully that thing's part of fire, which it should be. Uh, yeah, despite the uh, confusions earlier on and me hurting myself, like, you know, <laughs> uh, things seem to be fine now. Okay, that's definitely her ultimate Pokemon, it's quite obvious, so... Nasty Plot, what? Uh, special Attack Sharply Rose, oh that sucks, gotta be careful here. Hopefully this Waterfall will finish it off. Probably won't, though. Oh my god! Wow, I, I just didn't expect that, that is amazing. She was only a level lower than me and I one-shotted it. Vileplume, okay, Typhlosions, come back out. I'm kind of using 
more or less the same Pokemon throughout here. Um, I'm not happy that this is this easy. I'm actually quite pissed off. I should have not grinded them so much. I am mega, mega disappointed in myself here. Alright, goodbye Vile Plume. You was quite easy. When I say quite, you was very easy. And a Gengar. So Espeon will your Psybeam it. And maybe you will kill it in one shot. Let's see what level this Gengar is. Okay. This is far from being backed into a corner. Wow, what would be being backed in a corner to you be then? Um, honestly, I, I have six Pokemon, all pretty much full health, and you got a bit lucky there. Oh, come on, hurt yourself, finish yourself off. Yes, what a terrible way to beat yourself. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. More money for me. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style, you understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. This champion better be a lot better than you, because I'm just pissed off right now. I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be Lance. Look at all those Dratinis and stuff. Oh, I didn't even get time to do anything. Oh well, I've been waiting for you, Yami. I knew that you with your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to, to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I lance the Dragon Master. Accept your challenge. Ooh, sexy music. Lance, you better be much tougher than the rest of them. Bad, bad, terrible matchup for me. I, don't, I think my Earthquake won't even hit it. So, um, oh dear me, I don't even know what to do right now. Ampharos, one thunder attack will do the trick. Let's just pray he doesn't kill you before I get to hit it off, if you know what I'm saying. And oh damn, even Lance uses waterfall. This will do some good damage. Okay, discharge, go. I <laughs> got lucky once again, missing the Ice Fang. But this Gyarados should be more or less dead, maybe? Yep, four times damage always does the trick. Um, let's see what he sends out next. The dragon. Oh my god, you're really going all out, aren't you? We'll have to send out the Gyarados with the Ice Fang. It's the only thing that would do really any good damage against it, I guess. What level's this thing? Level 50. Oh my god. Oh my dearie god. We'll use an Ice Fang. Didn't know Gyarados was faster than Dragon Eye, but whatever. And that did. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Critical. Guys, I have been exceptionally lucky throughout this entire Elite Four. Oh, Aerodactyl, you was a bastard in that uh, in that last bloody walkthrough. Well, you will go for Stone Edge, because I'm not too sure if electric attacks even affect you. This thing was a nightmare in my Fire Red walkthrough, I'll tell you that. It's exerting its pressure, will you Stone Edge? Uh-oh, Crunch. Hopefully that won't do anything. Oh, there we go. I think Crunch has a chance of lowering your special defense or something. Nothing too special. Wow. Holy moly. This Pokemon are quite high level, but I'm just... Oh, more than one Dragonite. You know, I don't even want to send out Gyarados because this thing's been too easy. I mean, I'll, I'll make it a bit more interesting. We'll send out, we'll send out Crobat, I guess. <laughs> you know, I don't want this to be too easy because I'll feel terrible if it is. What level's this thing then? 49. It's a level lower than the last one. We'll use Fly. Actually, Sludge Bomb might have been better, really, but Fly is a good attack anyway, so it should do some decent damage, really. Oh, that didn't even do much, and he cracks out a Thunder Wave. We'll go for a Sludge Bomb anyway. I know that's a good move. I'm not too sure if Poison is... Oh, wow, that's bad. I'm not too sure if Poison even does much, but... Oh, my God, he uses Blizzard anyway. That's going to do most of my health, I think. Yes, it did. Sludge Bomb, go. That did normal damage. Didn't even Poison him. Um... Oh, we'll go for a Confuse Ray. Yeah, I thought Blizzard might miss. We'll Confuse him. And then we'll go for another sludge bomb and maybe I'll poison him, I don't know. I don't I don't expect this Crobat to survive against this Dragon Eye, but if he keeps going for Blizzard, he might keep missing. That's what I'm hoping. Oh my god, I am seriously the luckiest guy in the world, besides these random paralysis moments. And he uses a full restore. Whatever, Lance, that's perfectly fine. Oh wait, I don't think he's confused anymore, but now you're poisoned, which is great. And now we go back to the Confuse Ray, and uh, my Crobat's dead. Goodbye, Crobat. It, it was nice knowing you, Mal. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, it was nice knowing you. Alright, Gyarados, one Ice Fang will kill this thing. I don't need to make it any harder on myself, really, do I? Intimidate cuts the foe's attack. Ice Fang, Thunder... Oh my god. Now, I could end up just not attacking and be paralysed, but no, the Dragonite's dead. I'm quite sure his last Pokemon's like a Charizard or something. We're about to find out. Maybe it's a third Dragonite, not too sure. It's it's a third Dragonite, we'll keep Gyarados out then. 
Oh, he's got he's got two more Pokemon, probably another Charizard. <laughs> you missed your thunder. If you hit that Lance, you would have actually easily killed my Gyarados, but whatever. Honestly, you should go for like Thunderbolt and Ice Beam instead of Thunder and Blizzard. Oh, how many full restores do you have, dude? My god. Okay, is Ice Fango back down to red, I think. Yeah. And oh, wow. This has been ridiculously lucky throughout the entire, entire thing. Oh, uh, okay, Lance, you had three full restores. You, you are a rich, poncy bastard, you are. I don't know how you can afford all that stuff, but I guess, you know, it's a good living beating people in Pokemon when they give you 5,000 Pokebooks each time. And yeah, my Gyarados is more or less dead. I'd, I'd lie if I said it wasn't, yeah. Unlucky. Uh, wow, we've decimated his team more or less. I've only got four Pokemon, but I'm trying to think what I should send out. Um, I think a Rhydon with a Strength will do the trick. Oh, he does have Blizzard. Let's just hope it doesn't hit, I guess. Dragon Rush? Oh, oh dear. That's fine. Goodbye, Dragonite. Should send out Charizard now, I think. And I guess, uh, well, Gyarados is dead, so Rhydon will be the best option using a Stone Edge or whatever it's called against this thing. It's actually cool looking at Charizard on the other end. I thought this would never happen. Well, you know, same thing, really. I didn't think I'd beat the Elite Four this easily. Why did you use Air Slash, Lance? Oh, oh god. I guess that's why. I guess you don't have any attacks that do any more damage, really, so... There we go. I beat the Elite Four and the Champion very easily. I, I just hope the next Elite Four is triple as hard as this. And Earthquake, thank god for that. We'll teach it over... Horn Drill. You know, Horn Drill's alright, but I don't need it particularly, so we'll just, we'll just teach Earthquake. It's over, but it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. I'm happy. I get to witness a new champion. 10,000! It's like I won the lottery today. You have become truly powerful. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow with you, strong with your Pokemon. Uh-oh, who, who's this? Who? Oh, it's you. Oh no, it's all over, Professor Oak. If you weren't so slow, <laughs> I'm just all the old age. Ah, yummy, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is fantastic. Oh, I'm going to stop talking like that now. It's, he's just going to be all happy. Congratula congratulations. Now I get an interview, supposedly. This is going to be a bit too noisy. Could you come with me? Okay, Lance. <laughs> get shit out, you. No inter interview with you, Mary. Alright, it's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champion for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. We will witness the rise of a new champions and stuffs. And now he's going to register. This is what they always do when, you know, you beat the Elite Four. Um, hopefully, I can go straight on to the next region without any trouble. Epic call cool cutscene. Here we go. There's no way for me to skip this, though. God damn it. I gotta say, my team is pretty awesome. Like, no joke, I, I destroyed them. Uh, like, I wasn't hugely overleveled compared to them. They were all in the 40s and, you know, hit, touching the 50s, but I still managed to absolutely decimate them with no trouble. Like, I guess just a few extra levels on, you know, ahead of someone else just a hu gives you a huge advantage. So, what it, that was that was so much easier than I expected. I was actually contemplating grinding them up in, all into the 50s. I decided against it though, and I guess it, you know, it was fine. But look at that, that's a good team. That's a really good team. Um, Tyranitar over Rhydon would have been the preferable choice, and um, I still think that's good. I, pro I probably would have used the Lapras over the Gyarados too, if I would have chose to, but um, I, I, you can only get Lapras on a Friday, and you know, I, I couldn't be asked to just on a Friday having to go to that cave and getting one. Alright, random credits. Can I skip these, please? Pretty please, let, let me skip these credits, please. God damn it. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll have to end this one here then. Um, I'm quite sure there will be a next part. Um, I'm sure this is going to spawn me at home. And um, I will then be able to go to the next region and get the, the ferry or whatever. And Landon pushes me out of the way, the douchebag. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a next part. So, guys, I will see you all tomorrow then in part 34. Um, assuming this spawns me and stuff so thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed see you all next time